On Account of the Gum, written and illustrated by Adam Rex. That's the gum right there that you got in your hair. On account of the gum that you got in your hair, your dad said, sit still, and your sister said, duck, and you sat very still. Still, the scissors got stuck in the gum that got in your hair. Okay, we went on, we went on some websites, and all of them swear, if you want to get scissors and gum out of hair, you take two sticks of butters and smear them along, and I see, it appears that those websites were wrong. Don't give me that look. Your aunt said she knew how to get the gum out from this tip in a book she was reading about and the paper or something she couldn't say where. The point is, that's why you still have grass in your hair. Your grandpa who said that your aunt was mistaken is mostly to blame for the noodles and bacon. It's all in this bacony, noodly mess with the scissors, gum, hair, sticks or butter and grass. Hmm, your rabbit eats grass. Because of the grass that got in your hair, I assumed that your rabbit could help us in there. But your rabbit just sat like it thinks it's a hat, so I thought it'll leave if I bring in the cat. I'm prepared to admit I was wrong about that. Oh, I know what to do. It's a little bit mean, but the cat always gets really scared when I clean. Just watch, she'll run off and hide under the bed if the vacuum comes anywhere close to her head. Wait, no, I'm thinking of the old cat. Your aunt just came back and she had a new take. It's cake. She thinks she can fix things with cake. Don't worry, we stopped her and showed her the door. I doubt she'll be coming around anymore. Though the cake that she made wound up on the floor. That reminds me, happy birthday. All right, let's get serious. This is the plan. We blow the gum out with a powerful fan. Plus every few seconds we'll pop a balloon and the guy with the bee said he'll get them here soon. And oh, I hear sirens. The firemen came. They complained when we called, but they came just the same. With their hoses and one of those dogs and a cop and a big pot of chili, they're ready to... Stop! Get out, please! Jeez, rude. So that's the solution. Well, well what to, do you know? Too bad about all the rest of it, though. The rest of the stuff that's still stuck in your hair. Whoop, now your aunt is all stuck up in there. How'd that happen? Anyways, you better get to school because otherwise you're going to miss picture day on account of the gum. And the mystery reader is...